This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, and verse 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, save the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt. For the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, is your guide. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Achak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Achak Wadash, Brock Dumb, to his aquanium, while I can walk with him. You know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Giving diligence, make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Shai, Bon Yasha Allah, and this will be a quick lesson, you know, through the Spirit of Papi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, on the dream that I had this morning, you see, and um, it was very spiritual. I don't remember everything that happened in the dream, but I'm, I'm gonna hit some key points. But, you know, today's lesson through the Spirit, you know, going into, you know, how we're not supposed to be afraid, man, or doubt. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to protect his elect, you know. So be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will guide and protect his elect. And I pray we're part of that number. You know, I myself, you brothers listening, and you few sisters, he's going to guide and protect us. You know, we got to have that hope and that faith that he got us, man. Right. So briefly, I'm going to summarize the dream that I had this morning. Um, basically, the scenery is something like you see, like right here, this picture right here, right, um, where I'm on top of a building. You know, and this building was real, real, real high up, you see, and, and um, other things happened in the dream. But like I said, I'm hit some key points. I do remember being on top of this, you know, the extremely high building and looking down and just being like petrified. I was like real scared. I was like, oh, shit, if I fall, it's over for me. I was, I'm going to die. I pictured my body splatting, you know, hitting the ground and, you know, bursting all over the place. I was really scared. And I remember it was people around. Which now that I'm thinking about it, you know, probably represented the brothers, you know, the elect. Because in the dream, it was like they were superheroes. And I remember them telling me, yo, you know you can fly, right? They was like, yo, you know you can fly? You know, then I was like, yo, look look at that, though. That's mad high up. They was like, you know you can fly, though, right? And basically, I was doubting, you see? And they was like, you got to come down. And I was like, I'm going to take the steps. And then they was like, bro, you know you can fly. You know, then they, then I don't I don't remember how they got down. But, you know, next thing you know, they was down on the ground. Like, and what I mean, I was real high up. I was like on the top of like an extreme building that was real tall and like I had to be like a hundred something feet. So if I took the steps, that's like a hundred something flight, you know, so I was about to do all of that just because I was nervous and I was, you know, doubting that I could fly. And I remember um, just, just it being in the building and I was about to go down the steps. So I was like, let me see something right fast. So I jumped down the steps to see like if I could fly a little bit and I flew, I remember I flew a little bit, but you know, of course me doubting caused me to fall and then it hit me. I was like, yo, like, I know the power that I serve. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, once you, it's like, yo, the names, Yahweh and his beloved son, Yahweh Shah, has so much power in it. Because in the dream, I remember one time it said, man, listen, like, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is with me. Like, what am I doing? Why am I, why am I afraid to jump off this building and fly? They took, you know, the brother's saying I could fly. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I don't remember no one's face in the dream. I just remember, like, the dream scenery was like I was in a movie, like a um, superhero movie. Kind of reminded me of, I don't know why, but Kung Fu Panda or some shit. It was something like that, along those lines. Like, I don't remember exactly who was in the dream, but I remember they, them telling me you could fly. So after that, I remember, um, I just said, yo, y'all about to shot with me. And I remember I just went back up the stairs. You know, I only went down one flight. So I went back up the stairs, opened the door, and I just leaped. I was like, man, y'all about to shot with me. If I die, I'm dying. I know, I know he got me, though. And I just leaped, and I just started soaring. You know, I was flying, you know, in the sky. Then I went real down low, kind of like how a, um, a bird, an eagle will go all the way high up, go real down low, then, you know, um, fly back up. You know what I'm saying? And I was just flying, you know, soaring. And it was beautiful, man, because then I was like, you know, like, just thinking about how, like, yo, this power is in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And like I said, I don't remember everything that happened in the dream, but I do remember right, like, right after that, we was getting ready for battle, like war. It was something I was about to go down in the dream. But shortly after that, I woke up. And everything else was real fuzzy, but I do remember that, you know, being like on the top of a high building and looking down, just being petrified of the sight, you know, of how high I was, man. You know, you know, how people say they're afraid of heights, you know, and I'm not even one of those people, but it's just like, if I get real high up, I guess I got a little nervous in a dream, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was very like, I was nervous, petrified, and, you know, I remember the brothers, you know, 
through the spirit, I believe those had to be the brothers, you know what I'm saying? Um, they was like, you know you could fly, right? And I was like, I know, but it's like, yo, I was like nervous. And actually, you know, I was my assembly, hold up, like, I serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Like, that's my God, that's my power. You know, I said, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with me. I said that in the dream. I said something along those lines. I can't remember exactly what I said, but I remember once I said the names Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, I just leaped, you know, I opened the door, you know, to the top of the building, I just jumped and I leaped, you know what I'm saying? I was soaring, you know, so call him like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for, you know, giving me that dream this morning. And it made me reminisce on another dream I had when I when I also doubted, you know, for a second with um these Jakes running inside a building, going inside this elevator, I believe, and I'm in a corner and the Heavenly Father had had it where I was invisible. He couldn't they couldn't they couldn't see me. And I remember for a split second I doubted. I was like, they really can't see me right now. The one of them like about to run in the elevator or inside the building, something like that. He looked at me in the corner and he like squinted his eyes, like, is someone is someone standing right there? You know, then I was like, wake up, wake up, and I woke up, you know. So that doubt, man, that's a demon, man. That shit will creep in on you. You know what I'm saying? It'll try to, you know, hinder your faith, man. You know, so I pray this is edifying, uplifting, exhorting to the hopeful elect. You aki my guafin because, listen, man, like I was mentioning my first dream, or the dream I had this morning, right? Um, That doubt, man, you could be petrified, scared, you doubting, you know, and you have, you know, brothers telling you you could fly, you know? You could do this, you know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of Papi Habashim El Shah, he's with you. And all that, you still doubt, and that's a demon, man. And once once you realize, you know, who you serving, there's nothing impossible, you have about Shimel Shah. You know, so once I realized that in a dream, I just leaped and I was soaring through the sky, man. You know, then I went real low down to the ground, and I was just able to fly. You know, I didn't die. I didn't jump up that building and die, you know. So, man, listen, man, I doubt. It could creep in, but we got to defeat that demon of doubt. You know, that's why in these last days, we got to be building up our spirit for the times that's coming, because... We may get put in certain situations where we're going to have to take that leap of faith. Literally, man. You know, let's read this again. Second Edith 16, verse 74. Hear, O ye my beloved. Who is, this, who is this beloved? The elect of the nation of Israel. Say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So we know all hell and ready to break loose. A lot of evil has come to this earth. But he said, I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt. He said, don't be afraid of nothing. And don't doubt, I got you. That's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is telling us, man. Have good courage, man. Be brave, be bold. You see, you brothers, we, we gonna do some miraculous things. You know, the Lord gonna do miraculous things through us. You see? So it says, be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. You know, and we're rehearsing right to sack to the best of our ability. We're not perfect, but we're trying. You know, he said, I'm gonna guide you, I'm gonna protect you. You know, save the Lord power, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Because guess what? You know, you know, when that demon of doubt creep in, you will start beating yourself over the head, thinking all the wickedness you did in your life and all that. I believe the Lord really with me and all that is you start thinking of those things. But then the Lord said, don't let that weigh you down, man. You know, I got you. You see, keep keep rehearsing righteous acts, keep praying, keep fasting. I understand that, man. So I remember when a brother said in a dream. You know, they was like, you know you can fly, right? You know, they said, like, you know you can fly? I was like, yeah, but, like, yo, look at that. Like, what does that, that represent, man? Like, do you know the power you serve? There's nothing impossible you have about you, Shah. You could do it if you put your mind to it, man. You know, pray, you know, fast. And do we have um, um, a power, you know, a power source, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And the Lord wants us to draw from that power, draw from him, you know, with, with prayer, man. You know, when you pray, you know, like, we're the only nation on this earth that has that um um that uh advantage where we could just pray and the Lord do things for us right then and there or he could you know do it you know whenever he please you know what I'm saying but when we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah you best believe he's gonna answer man you gotta have that type of faith you know we serve the creator of the heavens and the earth man let's get this next preset Matthew 14 and verse 22 and straightway Yahweh Shah constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he went, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh Shai went unto them walking on the sea. So Yahweh Shai was walking on the sea, walking on water. 
And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. So they thought it was a spirit, man. They're like, What is that, man? You know, and they were scared. But straightway, Yahweh shall speak to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai. So Peter walked on the water. You know, but let's see what happened. But when, when he, Peter, saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. You know? So he, he from the things that he seen, it made him afraid. He seen the wind, you know, um, boisterous. He, he was afraid. He saw the, you know, the, the waves and, you know what I'm saying? He got scared. He started to doubt. He started sinking in the water. When before that, he had that faith. And he was walking on the water for a second, man. You see? So it said what? But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him. And said unto him, Be, O thou little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt, man? You know? And I thought about the scripture when I was, you know, um, when I woke up from my dream, man. You know, I thought about a couple of scriptures, man. Like, that doubt is crazy, man. Like, man, through the spirit, man, we got to all, I'm talking to myself as well. We got to all pray for more faith because we're going to be able to do miraculous things, man. You know, through the spirit and power of by Shemel And I remember them saying, like, yo, you know you can fly, right? And I was just, like, real nervous, just looking down. Because like I said, man, it was like I was on like a tall, tall building looking down. I was like, oh, nah. Like, I was really afraid, man. You know? And and that and that don't please Yahweh Bashim al You bring it If you fear anything other than Yahweh Bashim al of course, that's not going to please him, man. You got to fear Yahweh Bashim al Have faith in him. Don't be afraid of none of that shit. You know? So I remember in a dream, I, I remember my, my body was shaking. I was real nervous. But when, I'm, when I mean, once I remembered the power I served, that we serve, you know, all of that went away in an instant, you know, all of that went away in an instant, you know, all that fear, you know, that, um, that nervousness, it just went away. And I just opened the door and I leaped and I was like, man, y'all about you now shot with me, man. I was just soaring through the sky. So vice versa with this scripture right here, man, you know, so like, not vice versa, but in another account, you know, and um, through the spirit reading the scripture, you know, that's another thing that could happen in these last days, man, walking on water. You know what I'm saying? All type of different things brothers can be able to do. Not only fly, but run super fast, super strength, all type of stuff, man. You see? Teleport, disappear, you know, vanish, you know? So let's read this part again. It says, And immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. You see? Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth that art the son of Yahweh. You know, so that was the point I wanted to get on that scripture, man. Yahweh Shah told Peter, you know, oh, thou little faith, why did you doubt, man? Wherefore didst thou doubt? You know, you was walking on the water, why did you start doubting? That's the thing that made you sink, right? Because that doubt is a demon, you know? It is a demon. Give me another precept of the spirit. I think it's, in, I think I want Matthew 21. Let me see. Right? That is a demon, man. We got to shake that demon off in these last days. Right, let's read this. Uh, Matthew 21 and verse 21. Yahweh shall answer and send it to them. Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask and pray or believe in, Ye shall receive, man. You know? So we got to have that faith that whatever we ask, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah for, he's going to give it to us, man. He's going to deliver us. He's going to guide us. He's going to protect us. You know, any obstacle that's in our way, we can remove it, man, through faith and prayer. You know? That's all. And belief, man. We got to have belief, man. You know, we can't doubt. Once you doubt, then it's like, that's like you're knocking on the door, but you're knocking real timidly. You're knocking scared. You know? You're knocking like you don't want the person that's inside the door to open it for you. You know, when you knock, knock, bang on the door. You know what I'm saying? Knock real hard. And that's that That's that prayer you're throwing up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which the angels that's encamped right about us bring it to Yahweh Shah. He brings it to the Father. You know what I'm saying? And the Heavenly Father will answer us, man. You see? So that's why I, I mentioned the dream I had earlier through the Spirit, man, because like I said, I'm going to say it again, man. I can't, you know, say this enough, man. I, I, I was able to fly, but I was real scared of the height. 
you know how tall big the how tall the building was you know the 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 length how far down everything was and it's like i was oh shit you know and i remember like you know in a dream it was it was like superheroes but in my in my eyes it was like represented like the brothers the hopeful elect and they were saying like yo you know you can fly right you know what i'm saying they told me that you know you can fly like what the heck you know what you afraid of and they were, come on we gotta you know basically they wanted me to meet them down there and i was like, i'm just gonna take the stairs that was like man whatever you know what i'm saying then i remember they left and um they got down Right, and I believe they were flying too, man. I was said they get down, so brothers are flying. <laughs> and I remember I was like, right, I'm gonna take the steps, man. But then I was like, right when I leaped down the first step, and I was, I flew a little bit down the first steps, then I landed because I doubted. I was like, man, yo, like, I know the power I serve, man. I was like, man, y'all by Shema Shai with me, man. Then I went back up the steps, you know, then I just opened the door and I leaped, and I said, y'all by Shema Shai with me. I said something along those lines. I know I called on y'all by Shema Shai, and I started soaring. You know, so for a second I doubt it, but you know, the Lord, you know, um put the spirit upon me to remember the power, you know, that he that he um that he has, man. You see, he's a creator of the heavens and earth, man. Nothing impossible with him. You see? Let me read uh, another precept of the spirit. Right. <clears throat> Matter of fact, yeah, that's what I'm gonna get. Isaiah 14. No, no, no. Isaiah 40. Right, in verse 29. Right, and it reads, outside of verse 28, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no surgeon of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You know, the Lord give brother spiritual powers, man, to do all type of things in these last days. You see? So all of this is, all of this is, you know, coming, man. It's around the corner. Let's get Isaiah 41 and verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, which means like being worried, you know, being nervous and shit, right? For I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And who's the right hand of Yahweh's righteousness? Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. You know, verse 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and, be, and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Um, thou, though, sorry, thou shalt seek them, and shall not find them, even them that contend with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, save the Lord, and the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. You know, then we read on down, you know, the Lord can give brothers, you know, spiritual powers. He can make us a new sharp threshing instrument, man. You, see, you know, so we got to have, you know, faith as a grain of mustard seed, man, as it will continue to grow. And expound to the to the biggest of um the greatest of all trees, man. You see, brothers gonna be able to do all type of things with just you know the thought of it because of the faith they have in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, so I'm gonna get one more. Then I'm gonna close out, man. I just pray this is edifying through the spirit of probably Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right, man. Don't don't doubt. You know, um, I'm speaking to myself as well because of the dream I had, man. Two dreams, man. Where I doubted for a second, it almost cost me my life, man. You see, I, I was scared to jump off the building because I was doubting. And also in um, the first dream, <laughs> the Jakes, I was running the building. They almost saw me, man, because the Lord had it. I was invisible, but then I started to doubt, you know. So let me get another precept through the spirit. All right. One second. I should I find this scripture. Oh, yeah. Hebrews 11 verse 1. I want to get that, too. All right. I almost forgot to get that out. So Hebrews. Right. Chapter 11. In verse 1, and it reads, Now faith is the substance of things, hope for the evidence of things not seen. You know? So faith is the substance of all things, man. That's the definition of faith, the evidence of things not seen. You see? So we got to have that faith as a grain of mustard seed where we have so much faith that we may not see it physically, but we know that um it's there. You know? Like it's there for us, that, that power to draw from. You know? Us praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, knowing he going to answer us, man. You see, let's jump down to verse six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. You know, so if you're doubting, you're all scared, you're nervous, you know, it's impossible to please y'all by shaking out a shot like that, man. You got to have faith. 
But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the heavenly father, Yahweh, must believe that he is in there and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. You know, and through the spirit, that, that's the whole elect, man. You know, we're diligently seeking Yahweh Bashim al Shah. He's going to reward us, man. Whatever we pray for, he's going to give it to us. You see? I just thought of another precept. Uh, one second. It just slipped my, it just slipped my mind. Right, this this fucking flesh right here, but there was another one, man. Um, one second while I find the scripture, Yasha Allah, but keep having faith and pray for faith. If you feel like you lacking faith or anything, lacking wisdom, whatever, you know, pray to y'all about Shemel Shad, man. He's gonna give it to us, you know. Okay, so we're gonna get Mark chapter 11, and I'm gonna start at verse 23. No, I'll start at verse 22. And Yahweh shall answer him, saith unto them, Have faith in Yahweh. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, in your, in your mind, right? But shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. You see? We're going to have them, man. You know, we got to have that faith. You know, and don't doubt, you know, don't doubt in your mind, don't doubt in your spirit, you know, keep faith in your body, you know, shot. I'm going to end it off with this one right here. One second, I get it up. Right. So this is the book, uh, what is it, uh, Salakia? Salakia, one second. Luke 1 verse 37, right, and it reads, uh, for with Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, nothing shall be impossible nothing at all man it's gonna be impossible with us man so in these last days man brothers gonna be walking on the water flying running super fast super uh super strong we're gonna have all type of abilities to do to do faith and trust and belief and confidence in yahweh by shimei shai so we got nothing to fear brothers and if you sis out there as well the lord is an angel to, del to deliver us all type of things that we happen in these last days so pray for more faith if you feel like you're lacking faith you know um pray that that demon of doubt be removed from you right so i pray you was edified through the spirit and power yahweh by shimei shai I want to give Kohalayim, La Yahweh, Ba Shami Yahweh Shai, Ba Shema Chakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the Lex, God of the Broad, pushing the truth and sincerity, with that I'm going to say, Shalom.